All right, so let's go ahead and figure out this following problem for at the interval zero to two pi. So to show you a little trick here, what we can do is we can convert sine into one minus cosine squared x plus two cosine x equals two. The reason I did this is because we can turn this into a polynomial and factor it. So we move the two over, so we get um, negative one minus cosine squared x plus two cosine x equals zero. So then we can re rewrite this. Well, I'm going to multiply through by negative one, so we end up with cosine, and I'm going to do it in decreasing powers, cosine squared x minus two cosine x plus one. equals zero. So it looks like we can do cosine x minus one, cosine x minus one equals zero. So it's a double root. So essentially, where when does cosine x equal one? It equals one at zero and two pi, but because this is a, a brace instead of a bracket, it doesn't include that. So it's just gonna be um, x is equal to zero. Let me check that really quick. Yeah, that's right. Okay, cool. So yeah, um, well, it, it's essentially uh, x is equal to two pi n, but you know that ends any given coterminal, so it's zero, two pi, four pi, on and on. So it's just zero. So anyway, I hope that helps you out. I appreciate you watching this video, and I'll see you next time.